How come we don't? We're giving our animals, we're treating our soil correctly. You know, so at a young age, I had a love and an understanding of the importance of nutrition in our body. And I'll never forget going to Walmart for the first time at 12 or 13, looking at the, the vitamin section. Now I realize most of them are junk and it's yeah. just from a marketing plea. But I understood that if we're giving, you know, and it's funny, like society today, they'll make sure that their dogs have these, all these different things, but they're not treating their own body you know, as an athlete, as, as an, as what we're trying to do, invest in our body long-term. Right. And then from, from, as I continued to mature and went to the classes in college and learned about, you know, the soil and all the minerals, there's like 62 minerals in the soil, mm -hmm. but a lot of people don't understand. My great grandpa, when he farmed 40 acres, mm -hmm. he would grow a spinach crop and then he'd wait two or three years and let those minerals and nutrients replenish themselves in the soil, not harvest anything else. Hmm. And nowadays on that same 40 acres of spinach that they'll grow three or four crops, but they only put nitrogen, phosphorus and potash back into the soil and have no understanding of the other, you know, 58 other minerals and vitamins, minerals and nutrients that is needed in that soil. To, right. to produce the correct crop. So mm -hmm. you take spinach, for example, now, and the nutrient value is, is like a fraction of what it used to be 40 years ago.